What is going on everybody? Matic222 here today bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Masters of the Universe Classics Hordak figure from Super 7. But as always guys, before we look at the figure, we're going to take a quick look at the packaging. So right on the front we got He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Hordak right there with the nice kind of castle grape skull box. I really like that. I really like the design of that. Super 7 logo and barcode on the bottom with some nice Hordak artwork on the back that is really really good and a brief bio well this is actually quite a long bio so if you want to read that go ahead and pause this video now uh, not too much else to say about the packaging so let's just go ahead and look right at the figure all right so the figure itself looks not too bad I really dig the face sculpt and despite the fact that it's all white, the paint on it is really good. So where the blue is, there's no kind of rubbing off or bleeding off. So really good job on the face sculpt. You can see the red teeth. You can see the red eyes. Very cool looking. And he's got the soft rubber hood. Excuse me, which is okay. Looks like bones around it. Uh, there's a lot of black kind of marks on the hood or the cowl, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's maybe more of a cowl. A lot of black marks, so not the best right there, but overall the paint apps are pretty solid, uh, except that black mark on the red logo, but kind of on the blue. A anywhere where there's blue or black, it's okay, but other than that, it's kind of hit and miss. But not too bad nonetheless. I do definitely like the nice blend of colors. Okay, so I did take the liberty of putting on his cannon arm or his gun arm, and I think that looks pretty good. I, I kind of like the detail on it. There's not much, but I like. I certainly like the look of it, and it certainly looks pretty cool. So I do like that, and you can see his fingers are, like, sharper. So that is not too bad. All right, articulation. So head moves side to side. Don't really get a forward and back. For the arms, you can move the arm this far forward, moves in this far. He's got a thigh sway, bicep swivel, mind you. Thigh swivel. Single jointed elbow, wrist rotation, and a wrist hinge. For the gun, it, it just does that or that. That doesn't, that doesn't look right. I don't know why. Why does that look wrong to me? I don't know. It's just, my, it's just me. He's got a waist twist. Hips move out this far, kicks this far forward. This little loincloth is a softer rubber, so it doesn't completely block the articulation, but it will give you a little resistance. Kicks this far back, single jointed knee, and he has a boot swivel, and ankle pivot, and crazy ankle rockers, and he's got some weird looking feet too. So I'm just gonna, all right. So that is pretty much Hordak. Not really too much else to him. Alternate accessories. He does come with the alternate arm. So if you don't want the cannon, you kind of visualize what that looks like. Just like that. Except this pegs on the inside. It also comes with some weird stuff. He comes with a box. I don't, I don't really know the significance of this. It's got a weird looking face on it. Face looks all right. Box looks all right. Some paint on it, besides from the little red right there. So he does come with that, and he does come with this little guy. Uh, I don't really know his name, or I don't, I don't really know. I'm not really familiar with Shira, so. But he is somewhat articulated. The head does kind of rotate, so there's that. Other than that, not really much else to him. But he's a cute little devil, isn't he? I kind of like this guy. If you know the significance of these guys, of these, then uh, definitely share that in the comments because, quite frankly, I have no idea. But uh, all in all, not really. I don't really have a lot to say about Horadak himself. There's not a lot to this fig figure, these Masters figures, aside from the solid paint apps. But he's a pretty nice figure, and coming off of Tila, which was really not at all where I wanted it to be. This one is a kind of a nice kind of breath of fresh air. And I really like this guy a lot. So 
if you're kind of like me and you're cherry picking on this line, then I definitely think this is one I would recommend picking up. But other than that, that is going to be it for this video, guys. So thank you again for watching. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, guys, and I would really appreciate that if you would subscribe to this channel. Uh, I'm only six subscribers away from 200 uh, at the time of recording this, I should say. And I'd really, really love to make that happen by Christmas time. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. All my social media links will be in the description. Make sure you head on over to Facebook and check out the Sanctuary page. Other than that, that is it. Thank you again for watching. Have yourselves a great day. And I will catch you next time. Mm.